You have a Kyler Phillips right now. I mean, he's 29 years old, fighting a 37-year-old Rob Font, and he opened up as a minus 225 favorite. AJ, the line has flipped. It hasn't flipped. It has extended massively to him being a minus 450 favorite right now. Live odd, plus 325 comeback for Rob Font. I have to ask this in, in the most respectful way possible. Is Rob Font a super-duper extra live dog in, in this matchup right here? He is, Derek. Yeah, especially at that price, man. That's kind of crazy. I mean, a lot of people, that's just disrespectful to the greatness that Rob Font has been putting forth in the octagon, man. Um, he's good. Like classic boxing, especially, especially if Rob Font is able to control the distance, work that jab and, and create or mash the distance that Kyler Phillips is trying to use with the kicks and the, and the range attacks that he has. And he just puts the pressure on him. I could see him causing a lot of disruption in the Kyler Phillips style of fight. Stop me if I'm wrong, but this is just going to be my overall assessment of just like how people are thinking about Rob Font right now. I think they think a couple of things. One, you're getting older at bantamweight, 37 years old. Like that's just not a good sign at all, right? But more important than that, I think they're thinking, Chinny, this dude can't take a shot anymore. I think that that's the overall consensus right there. And then we also see, do you have the power, the ability to put people away? We're not really seeing that too much from Rob Font, especially if he cannot get that, uh, that jab going as much as he wants to. Now that's what I think that people are saying, but we actually have a couple of stats to disprove that. And the first one is, man, if you look at the losses in his last five, bro, Davison Figueredo, Corey Sandhagen, Marlon Vera, Jose Aldo. How, how can you dismiss a man with losses like that? You can't. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, Derek, none of them are knockouts, right? Like there's some moments in there where he's getting hurt, but none of them are knockouts. So the idea that Rob Font is chinny, I think only comes from the fact that he's getting older in there and mm -hmm. resorts only to boxing or resorts only to striking. I'm glad that you mentioned that too, because uh, the other stat here is that, well, Rob Font, he's been knocked down five times in his last five fights. Those came in two fights. It was the Aldo fight and the uh, Cheeto Vera fight, man. So it's like it's the numbers tell a different story from what the consensus feels, which is why this is what I think. I think Kyler Phillips rightfully should be the favorite, but I think that this is a disproportional line where you get zero value out of Kyler Phillips. So let's talk about where the numbers lie. We know Phillips is nice extended combinations. Um, this dude lands like an average of 80 significant strikes in his last five fights. Volume is high, right? Minus 140 for the decision prop actually makes sense, but minus 140 as like a value... I don't see anything there. So I think the play has to be like an over or something on this one. What do you think? Just from what you see here. Yeah, I'm with you. I was That's exactly what I was looking at. I think that's the best way for Kyler Phillips to get this win is put on a technical show, a, a decision. I don't expect him to finish, especially if none of the other fighters that you just listed were able to finish Rob Font. I don't see it happening. But again, no value. Unless you're going to put him with a parlay on something, I don't like it. Yeah, it's crazy, man. And if you're looking at like the over right here, what, minus 240 for the over two and a half rounds, minus 185 for the, or is this minus on both, man? Hold on. Let me, let me see if I'm looking at this. Mine, yeah, plus 185. There we go, right, for the under two and a half rounds. So yeah, they think that this one's going to go down to a decision. I would like to think so as well right here, just because you just mentioned it, right? Those other goos, they couldn't stop him. What makes Kyler Phillips going to be able to stop him? Well, I will say there is one thing that uh, Kyler Phillips presents that these other dudes don't, man. He is the he's the new wave. He's the Kitakai guy, man. He mixes up all the martial arts, and he extends his combinations out really good between his punches and his kicks. So if there was going to be a finish in this fight, you would have to say it probably would come from the Kyler Phillips upside oh absolutely it come from the kyler phillips side i just don't think rob font presents the the pressure and the power that's needed to stop a, a type of fighter like phillips not just yeah that, that too and then also if you just look at like the finishes rob font's a bigger finisher kyler phillips actually only has two finishes in the ufc right now four decisions so uh, finishes one knockout one submission should be interesting i think decision is definitely the play right here on the side of kyler phillips but i don't see any other value outside of going over two and a half rounds do you no no not at all so we're gonna place this along with a couple of other fights here but this is like a fit into a parlay spot not a standalone spot so fair kyler phillips man new wave this dude should definitely make it happen we'll see we'll see uh you know how it plays out